Throughout history, the cultural development of humanity is essentially determined by communication. And with the invention of the electric processes and particularly the wireless method for communication, our world has evolved greatly since the beginning of the current millennium. The freedom from cables has brought many inventions, such as phones, TVs, radios, that revolutionized our daily lives. So what's common between all of these inventions? But wait, electromagnetism? Aren't electricity and magnetism completely different? During the 17th and the 18th century, electricity and magnetism developed as separate sciences and were believed to be unrelated until Danish physicist Hans Christian Olsted conducted the following experiment. With a compass, a pair of wires and a battery, we can see that by sticking one end of every wire to the battery, then closing the electrical circuit, the compass needle reacts almost instantly. So it seems obvious that a current carrying wire creates a perpendicular magnetic field around it. Ten years later, physicist Michael Faraday discovered what's called electromagnetic induction. With the help of a magnet, a voltmeter in the coil copper, waving the magnet near the coil copper causes the voltmeter to display a different value than zero. What happens here is that the change in magnetic field creates an electrical current through the wire. Same principle is established in wind turbine generators, for example. However, in mid 19th century, Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell developed a set of mathematical equations that laid out the foundation for modern electromagnetism, and more precisely, electromagnetic waves, demonstrated later by Henry Schertz. So, let's dive deeper into my last words and take these cellular towers for example. Oscillating electric charges, or accelerating ones, move through the antenna towers producing a change in electric field that makes an electric wave. And based on the results of our first experiment, the electric wave itself will be accompanied with another magnetic wave, which gives us, yes, you guessed it, an electromagnetic wave, later captured by a certain device. Additionally, an electromagnetic wave holds on to a variety of properties like wavelength, amplitude, frequency, a crest in the trough. And because of the diversity of electromagnetic waves' wavelength, we can distinguish seven main types of electromagnetic waves radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, X rays, and gamma rays, with light being the only visible one. 